What up, though, my good people? It's your boy Runaway Ring with another episode of From a G's Perspective. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another athlete decides that he don't just want to play D, he want to play a D boy. Apparently, Montrez, Montrezel, how you pronounce that? Why you got an extra L on the end of that name? Actually, I guess it probably stands for the L he took. But Mr. Harrell was apparently driving through Kentucky when he was pulled over by a state trooper. And the state trooper says he smelled marijuana, which gave him probable cause to search the vehicle. Mr. Harrell admitted to having some weed on him. Apparently a small amount on his person. And... Three pounds of vacuum-sealed marijuana in a backpack in the back seat. Come on, man. How are you going to be moving weight, pushing pee in a state like Kentucky where weed is still illegal? Now, I know he got, he still, he played a little at the University of Louisville, so he got ties to Kentucky which makes it all the much worse because you should know the rules of how to move in a city, state that you grew up in, that you spent a lot of time in. It's really not making any sense. Apparently, I guess his attorney saying he wasn't trafficking. That's what he was charged with, trafficking um, marijuana under five pounds. But how did this look, man? You in a rental car, you got three pounds of vacuum seal weed, it's just, it's not a good look. What the crazy part is, this brother just signed a $9.7 million deal with the Charlotte Hornets. What are you doing? This is insane, man. You hustling for what? How much pounds do we go for now? I'm not, well, we not even into all this uh, illegal activities, but it's definitely not worth one of his checks from the NBA for sure. Sort of reminds me of the brother Nate Newton, who's a former NFL player whose career spanned over 17 years, six-time Pro Bowler, three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys, who retired in 2000, and less than a couple years later after retirement, he gets caught not once, but twice, the first time with 200 pounds of marijuana, second time with 175 pounds of marijuana. Yeah, Nate Newton was moving at work for real. When Newton was asked about his reasoning for making such a move, he said, I've always been competitive. I've always been in the sports. I could not see myself being the biggest dope man. Really, Nate? Come on now. You was trying to go from a Super Bowl champion to El Chapo? Make it make sense. Well, shout out to Nate Newton for doing his time, getting out and bouncing back like a G. And just recently, he got inducted into the Black College Football Hall of Fame this past week. Salute. And it's crazy to think that now in his present time, he could be making money legally with what he was doing with dispensaries, growing facilities, marijuana stocks. It's crazy. Which boggles my mind to think that why isn't Montrez, why wasn't Montrez on that type of time. He could have literally placed a call to his own agent, Rich Paul, LeBron's homeboy, and said, hey, I want to put some money in on that cannabis brand that you invested in last year. Let's get this bread, you know what I'm saying? He could have been smart like the former NBA player Al Harrington, who invested in the company, which he named after his grandmother, Viola, back in 2012 for $5 million. Seven years later, 2019, it's valued at $100 million. You dig? just teamed up with Allen Iverson to create a strand for him. Man, there's so many different ways he could have went with it, but we stuck on these old hustles, which is crippling us. Can't be moving out here like a common criminal. You making millions of dollars. Hopefully the brother can put some of that NBA money to good use and either get the charges dropped or at least reduced to a lesser charge. As far as his punishment from the NBA, who knows? Hopefully this isn't uh, the end of his career and it won't be too harsh for him. He can continue to play ball and provide for his family after making such an egregious mistake. Like I said, man, this is chess, not checkers. You got to move accordingly. This has been your boy Runway Ring for another G's Perspective. Hard on the Yard TV. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe on the way out. Peace.